With this little baby, you are stepping into the world of the professional diagnostic tools with a unit that has a lot of capability in a very small form factor and it is making use of all the refinement and all of the development that Launch has done with their more expensive professional diagnostic tools, tools that are 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 pounds and you are getting similar capability at the price point that is very attractive. So don't imagine it as being an inexpensive tool because you're still paying in the 500 pound range. But if you factor in all that you're getting, this is looking as a very interesting purchase. This is the Launch X431 Pro Elite. It is a eight inch tablet running a four core, two giga, gigahertz CPU. 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of ROM. The most beautiful 8 inch screen that I've seen on a diagnostic tool with really vibrant colors, with a very solid built quality materials, well engineered surfaces. So if you're taking a look, you have exactly the space needed to hold the unit without touching the screen. And all of these small design features are giving you the confidence that you're buying a quality product. You are able to do all sorts of diagnostics, actuator testing, which some people are calling it bi-directional control, data logging. Uh, you are able to do online programming, all sorts of coding, ECU matching, VIN writing, you name it, this unit is able to do it and it is making use of all the software that Launch has developed. And these guys, if you don't know their history, Launch is a company that started developing diagnostic tools in 1992. It is one of the old guys in this type of environment. And they had all the time to refine their processes and refine their tool. Also at the same time, the value of a unit like this doesn't really lie only in the unit itself. It also lies in the fact that you are capable of getting all sorts of accessories that are improving the capability of this type of device. On this type of unit, you're able to get something for programming, TP, MS sensors. You're able to get a stand for calibrating all the ADAS cameras and sensors. You're able to get an oscilloscope. You're able to get a multimeter and a sensor and actuator testing device. You're able to get a battery tester, more advanced key programming unit or an additional camera to use it as a video scope. Main capabilities, diagnostics and um, all sorts of programming. You will get used to the layout of the menu. The main functions and the main areas of interest for you will be the intelligent diagnose and the local diagnose. For one of them, you need an internet connection. For the other one, in theory, you shouldn't need one, but you will notice that from time to time, even for the local diagnose, the unit will ask for access on the internet or it will ask for you to give a login. Should you get that type of message, get really friendly with the back arrow as using that you're able to ignore that request and still use this unit. My advice would be for you to be able to uh, pair this with your phone and a hotspot made with your phone because should you need more capability, should you need some online coding, it's easier for you to have already prepared the hotspot and just activate the hotspot rather than at that point start to do all of the connection when you're in the middle of working on a vehicle. Intelligent diagnose, local diagnose, one is faster, the other one is slower, although I've noticed that kind of both of them are uh, as effective one versus the other. All sorts of special servicing functions from DPF regions, DPF monitoring, Add blue resets, electronic parking brake resets, service interval resets, you name it, they have it. Of course, all of this menu is specific or it will be related to the capability of the vehicle. So some of these functions might not work on your uh, vehicle. And should you search for something that isn't in that list, when you go for the local diagnose, you select a different ECU in your, in your vehicle and you will have a menu with special functions even in the menus of each ECU when you're scanning it. The majority of the scans, the health scans, 
will be saved on the on the launch cloud if you're using intelligent diagnose and if you're using local diagnose you're able to save it on your uh, local folder diagnostic history is where you're going to see a few of those results and also keep an eye for user info although very counterintuitive your reports are found here and also should you do any data logging and data recording you have it over there you select those bits and you can even export it as a cvs file we are looking to test this type of tool i've tested it on four different vehicles i went for a 5 series bmw a 3 series bmw both of them at different generation one is a f the other one is a e to spice things up i used a honda accord which is a completely different layout and to my surprise this unit worked very well on that honda accord my X tool was able to see only four ECUs on the Honda Accord. The launch was capable of seeing five. Also, the X tool on the Honda Accord was struggling with the output tests, with the actuator tests. Launch didn't have absolutely no problem in performing those actuator tests, the majority of them. I still had a few that weren't uh, working 100%, but overall it had more consistent results and I was actually uh, having a better description of what the test will do and how the test will work. So confidence inspiring, the, the fact that you are consistently seeing that this unit is performing the function that you are selecting, that gives you the peace of mind of uh, performing more complicated work on all sorts of vehicles. On the Renault Laguna, the diagnostics worked quite well. I performed some actuator testing, basic stuff, just to confirm that everything worked. And again, it was one of those experiences where you're starting to see where the difference in price is between the low-cost diagnosis tools and the ones that are more expensive. And you're starting to reassess what you consider expensive and what is well-priced. Overall, on the diagnostic side of things, absolutely everything went according to plan on the actuator testing side of things again it inspired confidence and i was happy with the results on the servicing functions played around with those absolutely no problem data logging i've discovered how you can make best use of the data logging on this device it is in general allowing you to see eight data streams on the screen as graphs you are able to combine combine only four of those ones in one graph but having the option of exporting a cvs file doesn't really require you to put those values on a graph because you're able to export all of those readings put them on a computer and get a much better understanding of what you're monitoring for a more extended period of time later i'm going to do a video with all the things all of the tips and tricks that I have discovered in my time spent with this diagnostic tool. Maybe they will help you guys in making better use of your diagnostic tool. Now, let's think a little bit of uh, pros and cons. The fact that this unit has software which delivers constant results and inspires you the confidence that it works on the majority of the vehicles that you are working on uh, is a big pro. Uh, the fact that you are able to download software not only for vehicles but also for motorcycles. So you're able to have one diagnostic tool and use it on vehicles and also after that on motorcycles. A big benefit. The range and the selection of vehicles might be something useful for you. Some people will see that in the list of available vehicles we have brands that are like commercial brands we have iveco we have a lot of uh, vehicles i've made uh, a menu with the ones that are more common for me having also the capability of downloading a software pack for tesla it's an interesting thing the key asset for the guys at launch will be their software. Their software is the one that brings the value to these diagnostic tools. The things that I didn't really like that much about uh, this diagnostic tool is until, or 
if you're searching for some functions, their menu feels a bit old. It is effective, but some of the functions are in very awkward places. Other things to consider, I didn't like the length of the cable. It is always too short. They could have used a longer, longer lead. Overall, if you spend a bit of time to personalize the tablet and to understand the software, they're not deal breakers. This product and the fact that you are able to have a lot of features with only one device, you're able to also get the scopes, all of the other testing equipment, you're able to do the ADAS calibration, all of those make it quite good value for its money. It is one of those products that is allow me to understand that although you're paying a premium, you're getting um, quality software and you're getting a quality product that at the end of the day is making you okay with the fact that um, it's not uh, inexpensive software. To note that after the two year uh, free update period, you will have to pay, and I've got this information from the supplier of the diagnostic tool, you will have to pay £188 per year to get the updates. Special thanks go to the guys at King Bolan for sending over that unit for testing. We couldn't have done the video without you guys. A link is in the description towards their website. Make sure to check them out. And now let's go back to the video. However, reading the contracts and reading the descriptions, the diagnostic tool is able to work even without those updates. Depending on how much use you're having of the diagnostic tool on the newer vehicles, you might want to update, you might not want to update. Maybe you wait one year and you update it a little bit later. I hope that this video gave you a bit of clarity about what this type of diagnostic tool and programming tool is capable of, of offering. If you have any experience with these diagnostic tools, Please share them with me. Give me some of your opinions about uh, these brands and other tools that you have been using. Thank you for watching and we are going to see one each other in the next video.